Let's sketch the derivative of this function. If we look for key points, we notice these kinks. At these kink points, the function is not differentiable because approaching from one direction, there's one slope and approaching from the other direction, there's another slope. What this means is that on the derivative graph at these kink points, we're going to have jump discontinuities. The derivative graph is going to jump from this slope to this slope, from this slope to this slope. But if you notice all around the kinks, the graph here is just lines. So the derivative graph is going to be this constant value, then jump to this constant value, then jump to this constant value, then jump to this constant value. Furthermore, it looks like the magnitude of the slope of this line and this line are the same. This one's just negative and this one's positive. Same here. And it looks like the magnitude of this slope is bigger than this slope. So we'll have... And what we're going to do is we're going to put open circles at these kink points because there is no value of the derivative at the kink points. The derivative doesn't exist at the kink points. And that's the graph of the derivative.